Minnesota Fighting Vikings head coach for now and defensive play caller. His defense has been biblically bad, historically bad, biblically bad. Like we're talking about locusts. We're talking about the rivers running red with blood. And we're talking Zimmer's 21, 21 defense. That's right. And Zimmer's precious side of the ball has been the weak link for the Vikings all season long. Exactly how bad has it been? Hmm. ESPN's Courtney Cronin, go. Minnesota's two-minute defense has been a struggle all season, but now it's closing in on historic lows. The Vikings led the NFL in points allowed in the final two minutes of any half with 101. The next closest team is Seattle with 83. The most points allowed in the final two minutes of a half uh, in the last 20 seasons is 107, a record set by Minnesota in 2020. Mm. And here's all the scores the Vikings have allowed under two minutes and halves or in overtime. And... Idios Mio, giving up four, four of the seven losses have been with Zimmer's defense on the field. So, I mean, you want Zimmer's D out there, and it's not quite working out. And by the way, that doesn't include the Sam Darnold going 96 yards plus a two-point conversion to force overtime uh, in the Carolina game which the Vikings eventually won, thanks to Kirk Cousins and Greg Joseph and company. Including Cooper Rush. Cooper friggin' Rush, the legend the future Canton inductee going 75 yards for the game-winning touchdown, including the Ravens marching 72 yards in overtime when the Vikings simply could not stop the run for the game-winning field goal. And, of course, the, the, the cherry on top, Jared Goof, former number one overall selection, going 75 yards with no timeouts for the game winner because why not? And, yes, lots of injuries on that Vikings defense. No Daniil, no Kendricks, no Barr, and also no Everson, no Patrick Peterson against the Lions. But the defense, when everyone was there and healthy early in the season, it wasn't that great either. Ah, So, Zim, what would you say you do here? Uh, maybe just throw a couple of more uh, co-defensive uh, coordinators at, at the problem. Maybe that'll work things out. I, 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 like, what's Paul Gunther doing? Name him co-defensive coordinator as well, too. Why not? And I am not a football genius by any stretch of the imagination. I don't claim to be. But why would you only rush three against Goof, who folds like a knit when pressured, drop eight into coverage, and only two are defending at the goal line instead of, I don't know, beep, bop, 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 boop, four or five, and the two guys in the four under these zones are defending the same area? Why? Why, why, why? Yeah, and yeah, sure, a lot of the guys out there were backups, but that comes down to coaching. Next man up mentality. Be in the right place at the right time. You may not have all the skills as a starter, but hey, I'm such a great coach. I can put you in the best uh, place to succeed, but you didn't. You didn't, even though Mike Zimmer's never had a bad defense. Just ask him. Hmm. And the Vikings 2020 defense was historically bad, but 2021's like, hold my beer. Just look at this comparisons. 2020 Vikings were 29th in points. This year, they're 25th. They're similar in yards. Third down has improved. Yay. But look at that red zone. It fell off the table. Zimmer's defense used to be one of the better red zone defenses in the league, even when they're bad. But 25th in red zone scoring this year. They're 20th in PFF, and they were 17th in DVOA. That's probably going to drop after dropping one against the Lions. So, bah. And again, yes, you can blame injuries. But if that is true... Were the great defenses all about the great players, or was it about Zim? Because I was told that he was a defensive mastermind, that he could find cover two corners down at the 7-Eleven. Even though he doesn't, we, we only have 7-Elevens here, man. Quick trip for life. It's one of the few things that Wisconsin actually does well. Mm. Because uh, apparently, it's really easy to coach Deion Sanders. Apparently, it's really easy to coach Geno Atkins. Apparently, it's really easy to coach Prime Everson and Daniil and Kendricks and Linval Joseph and Harrison Smith, huh? It's kind of weird. So, this feels cathartic. It does, just getting this off your chest where you have one specialization, something that takes away your ability and your bandwidth for being a true head coach of the entire team. And that side of the ball is failing, and somehow it's still not your fault. So I, 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 I just don't know. But your thoughts are our thoughts. Zimmer's defense is historically bad and getting worse. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. Want to support that work? Venmo. Pay that man his money. But until next time, Skull Production Value. <laughs>